Bugs Hide and Seek by Laura Buller. Hey you, yes you, the reader. Can you find me? Look up close. Do you see me yet? I know what you were thinking. Where am I hiding? All you can see is a tree branch. Maybe I will hop down. You are in for a big surprise. Are you ready? Ta-da! Here I am. Are you surprised? I am not a leaf fallen from the tree. I am a bug. I am called a walking leaf. Cool, right? My body looks just like a real leaf. That's how I can hide in the trees. I even move like a leaf. I shake back and forth like a leaf in the wind. Looking like a leaf is helpful. I can hide from other animals that might want to eat me. They can't tell me from the leaves, so they leave me alone. I am not the only bug that is good at hiding, though. There are many bugs that use this trick. Would you like to meet others? I warn you, some are very hard to find. Let's look for them. Take a look. Can you find anything along the branch? The branch is my home to a very smart bug. Do you see it yet? Look carefully at the green twig. It seems to have six legs. That is not a twig. It's a stick insect. The stick insect's body is the same shape as a twig. It is the same color too. A stick insect can stay very still for ages. It hides in the tree all day long. At night, the stick insect hunts for food to eat. It nibbles on tree leaves. No one can see it in the darkness. By morning, the stick insect is hiding again. Let's not stick around. Some plants are very green, but there is much more to be seen. Look at this blade of grass. Can you see a bright green grasshopper? The grasshopper is exactly the same color as its home. It blends in so well, no one can see it apart from you, that is. Now let's get hopping. Look at this tree. Its bark is so wrinkly and brown. This is not a good hiding place for a bug. Hmm, or is it? Aha, there is a cicada hiding right on the tree. Its colors match the bark so well. Birds like to eat these bugs. The cicada stays very still until the bird flies past. Be careful. Do not prick your finger on that thorny branch. Those thorns look sharp. Wait a second. Those are not thorns. They are tree hoppers. These bug po bugs poke holes in the branches and feed on sap. They can hide and snack. That's pretty smart. What do you see here? A pile of rocks. Maybe there is a bug hiding in there. Wait a minute. One of those rocks just moved. I saw it with my own eyes. That, my friend, is a rock bug. A rock bug sits as still as a stone. What do we have here? Something has landed in the sand. It is a grasshopper. Its body colors match the sandy grains. Imagine you were a bird flying over the beach. Could you see that bug inside the sand? I don't think so. You would keep flying and miss out on your beach picnic. What a strange looking bug we have here. It is a spiny katydid. This creature lives in the rainforest. Those thorns on its body help it to hide in the forest. Bats like to eat katydids, but all those thorns can scare them away. They are scaring me too. I see a snake, do you? Hold on. There is something odd about that snake. It is really a caterpillar. 
playing a cool trick. First, it pulls its legs in. Then it blows up the front part of its body like a balloon. Spots on its underside look just like snake's eyes. Any bird who sees it is scared. Wait a minute. That bug reminds me of someone, someone very close to me. Someone who looks as if it fell out of my family tree. Bingo! It's another leaf insect, like me. It's time for us to leave you. We are off to a new hiding place. I wonder if you will find us there. We will see you. Will, we, will you see us? Keep looking. Here's a word search if you want to pause on this and see if you can find the words. At this point, it's the end of the story. Bye-bye.